Good evening, I'm Holden Apsher. Monroe County's local income tax rate will increase by 51% October 1st. Bloomington City Council unanimously approved the raise yesterday, which is expected to generate about $14.5 million each year for the city. Mayor John Hamilton's original proposal would have generated almost $18 million. But sometimes there are no solutions. There are only trade-offs. And this is the classic example. Um, all of us have given up something uh, that we felt very strongly about in this process. The city plans to invest $4 million each year in public safety, including $1.5 million for higher police salaries. Around 300 people crowded around Monument Circle Wednesday night in Indianapolis. It was just one of many protests in cities across the country after leaked documents showed the Supreme Court may overturn Roe v. Wade. Making sure that they know that like, we expect to be protected and we expect for them to do their jobs as it relates to us so that at the state level we need them to take control because the federal level hasn't. Counter protesters also demonstrated members of the two groups yelled at each other throughout the evening but were largely nonviolent. It's commencement weekend at Indiana University Bloomington and IU plans to confer nearly 21,000 degrees throughout the state over the next week. IU graduate students will go through commencement Friday afternoon at 3 o'clock. Graduation will continue Saturday morning with the Bloomington campus undergraduate ceremony at 10 o'clock. This year's graduates come from 140 countries, all 50 states, and all of Indiana's 92 counties. Now for a look at the weather. Tonight, a 70% chance of showers, a low of 59 degrees. Looking ahead at the five-day forecast, rain tomorrow and Saturday. For more local news, go to WTIUnews.org and catch Indiana News Desk Fridays at 6. Have a good night.